This is my last offer. Mr. Carter, I've told you over and over again, you're wasting your time. No sale. Goodbye. Look, Miss Gordon, you miss one more payment on this place and the bank's gonna own your sweep. Ah, but that's my problem. Hey, I'm tired of bringing you gifts and reasonable offers. Your old man would have jumped at a price like this. My father would never sell this property. And what the heck do you know about my father? I know that he's six feet under the ground. And unless you want a plot next to him, you'll take the dough. Look, I know this is hard for you to understand. But without this center, these kids have nowhere to go. So thank you very much for dropping by. Now, you gentlemen, you know your way to the door. Shut the door. Now, you listen up, Jiggy, and you listen good. Your little problems are not over. That the fire in the basement last week, the uh, surprise inspections, who knows? There might even be a very bad accident. And I know, I know you wouldn't want anything to happen to one of your kids. Mister. If anything happens to anybody around here, I'm gonna personally drive my car down to your boat and I'm not gonna stop until I make sure you're part of the dog. <laughs> Miss G, we lost another ball. Hold it right there. Get outside, Carrie. Outside! Just give me a reason, please. Hey, this is just a friendly business proposition. There's, there's no harm intended. Oh, yeah, sure. Now, let me tell you this once and for all. No sale and no threats. If anything happens to any kids around here, I'm going to hold you personally. <gasps> Nobody pulls a gun on me. Nobody! We'll continue this on the top of Mulholland. Oh, come on. Get rid of that kid. Hey, kid, why don't you go play in traffic? <coughs> Hopster! Ah! Oh. Oh. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah. You gotta nail him, Holster. You all right? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm sure they'll be all right. Yeah, but what's worse, them catching them or them not catching them? Get him next time. Dirt! 